You know I love this video. This is personal grants for you, free money. This is not for a business or a nonprofit. It is for you personally. One of them is $25,000 that's available to everybody in the United States. Thank you, Joe Biden. Yep, our president. I'm also gonna talk about how to apply for this free money that you don't have to pay back and how people get awarded this money and it's treated like a gift. So it's incredible. I got the $25,000 one to talk about. One for $6,895. That's a personal grant that you can get every single year year, a $1,500 grant, a $10,000 personal grant, a twenty dollars to $100,000 one for traveling, which is so crazy, and a point of pride grant, as well as medical procedure grants that can help you out. Now, to give you an idea, I talk to a grant writing team every day, and we have and see billions of dollars that are ready to be given away, and we're like, God, you just got to ask for this money. Write a proposal or fill out the application. That's it. They're a government corporate and private grants that are issued people who have passed away that are giving away money like eventually bill gates and other people even jeff bezos is giving away millions of dollars to support a wide range of endeavors including professional projects medical procedures educational opportunities getting into a home these grants offer a valuable source of financing as they do not and i repeat do not have to be repaid back however it's important to recognize that in securing a grant it can be you know a little competitive the process you might have to be eligible for the grant and have a considerable amount of time wait for the decision maker to make up their mind about when they're going to give you the money if you're like me you got too much money you can't ask for money right but you maybe you can while it's true that money doesn't typically come for free these personal grants present an exception these grants are considered monetary awards that are given out by federal government and also private entities and they're intended to cover expenses and fulfill specific needs that that organization or the government may be working on. Now, unlike loans, personal grants are essentially gifts providing recipients with financial support without the expectation of paying back this money. Now, it's critical to understand that the availability of personal grants, it's limited. Except for the Joe Biden one that I'm going to talk about for $25,000, which is really incredible. Talk about that later. Both the number of recipients and the funds allocated for grants are finite, which means that not everyone who applies for them will get awarded the money. Grants can go through a process where they're trying to evaluate the qualifications of the project and the proposals, so there might be different ones. In addition to meeting that criteria, the grant recipients might have some guidelines. You might They might ask you to follow a guideline when using the funds, and these guidelines that they propose may want you to utilize the money in a responsible and accountable way what they put the money out there. So you might have to provide some receipts to show you spend it on what you said you would. Now, individuals who receive personal grants should demonstrate your commitment to fulfill the grant's objectives, including complying with any reporting, whatever they ask you as far as we gave you the money, can we get a little information about how you're spending it, right? All this stuff is probably pretty valuable. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I'm here to help you if you're aspiring to get a grant. I want to see you get the money, and I'm going to talk about how you can do that in this video, because I'm here to help you get money, leverage it, invest it. I can relate to where you are. I've been broken homeless to multi-millionaire four different times. Started 32 companies in 17 industries. I'm buying companies now with Epic 99. It's in the description. If you want to be part of that process, you got to have credit, have paid your bills and be able to run a business. If you want to partner up with me in Epic 99, but fill out that application, you'll own 81%. I own 19%. I'll put up the capital and we'll buy a business together. Now, if you just need a loan for your business, you don't have time to wait on a grant. Hit the link down below for your business. I got 12 different programs, 80 lenders, billions of dollars to lend make sure you check that out also there's free stock down there as well as if you need to monitor your credit with some of these programs you need to look at your credit i got a credit karma down there that you can sign up for account for free it's incredible but first let's dive into that personal grants are monetary awards that provide by federal and private organizations and they do not require you to pay them back while grants are not commonly given to individuals they are frequently awarded to small businesses nonprofits, universities local governments and things like lab research now now, these grants are typically used to fund initiatives and research supporting community projects and assist with recovery initiatives or maybe just to stimulate the economy like we got right although personal grants are less common right you don't hear about these much but i cover them they're still available for specific purposes like work initiatives education community projects both federal grants and also housing which i'm going to talk about federal grants and private organizations offer grants in a variety of amounts ranging 
ranging from a few hundred dollars to thousands of dollars to millions. It's important to note that grants are distinct from government benefit programs like food stamps or welfare. They are not intended to replace those programs to help meet your basic needs. Instead, grants are designed to support individuals with specific opportunities to pursue whatever it is that you're trying to do, then make it affordable that wouldn't be affordable to you otherwise. To be eligible for a personal grant, you must meet the criteria set by the grant maker. They make the rules, they got the money, right? This typically involves submitting an application and often a proposal. And it's important to be aware that the grant process, it could be slow, slower than you may like. And it may take as much as six months, some three months, some a month to find out if you've been awarded or if you're even in the running to get awarded. Now, due to the limited availability of the grants and the lengthy process, you shouldn't rely on this money as a source of funding. This is like hope. You apply with hope. Now, the potential for the use of these personal funds are vast and individuals can find grants that support all kinds of different ranges, but I got a six to cover in this video. The first one is paying for education. This is a government offered Hale grant to undergraduate students that have exceptional need and want to earn a degree. You can get $6,895 per year from 2020 to 2023 and it'll probably go up. The second one, which thanks to Joe Biden, this is incredible. It's buy a home. What is a Down Payment Towards Equity Act of 2023? Down Payment Toward Equity Act provides eligible first-time buyers up to $25,000 in cash down payment on a home. This covers closing costs on the mortgage, interest rate reductions if you need it to be lowered, and also discount points on other things such as purchasing expenses. Absolutely incredible. The third one, supporting veterans. Specific grants are intended to help military families, particularly those facing financial difficulties with career assistance. For instance, unmet need, and this is UNMET needs program for veterans and foreign war organized offers financial aid grants for $1,500 for a variety of needs. Number four, funding professional work. Private organizations offer grants to support professionals in advancing their career projects. While many grants are targeted towards scholars and researchers, there are also other ones for providing that, especially with the SBA. Of course, you know Fauci as far as professional research. Or he got 10,000 different grants. Can you believe that? Number five, and this one is crazy. You like to write, travel? Well, an investigative journalist provides a $10,000 individual journalist to basically support whatever resources you have to be able to travel and do that. In another field, National Geographic, yep, you might know them, offers grants for explorers working on projects in science, conservation, and technology and related fields. The grant program caters to both less experienced professionals. If you're not that savvy, well, you can get $20,000, but if you're an established professional, you can get, if it's an impact impactful projects, you can get $100,000. The six covers specific healthcare needs. Now, this is a variety of organizations that grant individuals who are unable to afford specific medical costs. Some charities offer financial award ranging from several hundred to thousands of dollars to individuals in need of assistance with in vitro fertilization treatment if you're looking to have a baby. Additionally, there's Point of Pride that offers grants to LGBTQ plus individuals who require financial assistance to afford gender affirmation surgery. Where can you find this stuff? I'm going to tell you, it's real simple. I've told you some, but you can find relevant grants through non-governmental portals such as usgrants.org, while grants.gov is the official grant database for organized working with government-funded projects. But you can find similar programs and assistance also on benefits.gov. Lots of great resources. We subscribe to databases, our team and grant writers when looking for a grant for private organizations, conduct a targeted online search. Make sure you look at keywords such as capital grants, personal grants, and insert whatever one you're thinking of. Additionally, consider using paid portals like we do, such as grantstation.com, which compiles grant opportunities with various sources and helps you kind of organize them. Some tips are review the criteria carefully. Take the time to thoroughly read the eligibility criteria for each grant so you don't waste a lot of time. Pay attention to the requirements 
requirements such as income and financial needs, geographic location, career experience, whether you need to be in the military or what age you are. Ensure that you meet all the criteria noted in the application. And most importantly, don't miss the deadline. Do your research before you apply for a grant. Conduct that research. Check out the grant writing organization. Be careful. Do not do anything in the comments section where I, you think I'm reaching out to you because I'm not. There are lots of frauds and scams of people trying to say they're going to get you grants. Don't Grants are money that's for you. So be very careful. Understand the application process. It's an easy step. Grant makers try and make it as easy as they can, but yet get familiarized. The more that you read, the more you'll know these grants and you'll be able to apply for them. Some grants require proof of financial need as well as other things. Others could be just a one minute video asking for 75,000, which I love that grant when it comes up every year. Hopefully they do it this year where you put up a one minute video. I do these videos so that you guys know. But anyway, I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. Love you.